Welcome Achievers to MySciences.com. This is Mr. Aguirre with another online lab. Today's lab comes from the Holt Earth Science California edition. It's a quick lab entitled Water Planetesimals. The two California standards that we'll be touching on are 1B. Students will understand that the early solar system was formed from a nebular cloud of gas and dust 4.6 billion years ago. Also investigation and experimentation 1G students will recognize the usefulness and limitations of using models. The objective question, how did the proto-solar system form? To understand this, we need to understand that the Sun, our Sun, is a second, third generation star. So the second generation star, the one that was here before our Sun, blew up in a nova explosion, leaving behind a cloud of gas and dust called a nebula. That nebula, every particle in that nebula had gravitational pull on another particle. So through the process of accretion, these particles began to form bigger and bigger pieces. So as some of them collided or accreted, they formed bigger pieces until they formed what is the protoplanets. Now to understand, in the early solar system, anything that was very close to the sun, such as the inner planets, such as Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, even the uh, supposed or proposed Orpheus, were composed of silicates and metals. So it was too close to the sun, too hot to be able to form anything other than metals and silicates. Farther away from the sun in the outer solar system you had the gas giants where it was a frigid environment, cold environment, that allowed carbon silicates uh, and ices to form and eventually through the gravitation of these huge massive gas giants they accumulated hydrogen light elements such as hydrogen and helium. So to understand how this accretion process works, we're going to do an experiment. We're going to need wax paper, a ruler, medicine dropper, and water. You're going to take the wax paper, set it on the table, you're going to use the ruler to measure out three centimeters, and you're going to put a drop at one centimeter and at three centimeters. And then you're going to take the ruler away. You're going to lift one side of the paper now, in our experiment, the force that is acting on here is both gravity but also cohesion on the paper. And the one, assuming this would be a, we're calling it water planetesimal, is moving down and accreting with another piece, or another water droplet, or water planetesimal. We're going to repeat the experiment. Try not to get the uh, ruler too close, otherwise the water might uh, cling to it. We're going to put it again at three centimeters apart. And then holding down the paper, we're going to raise one side and the two pieces accrete. So you have a bigger uh, planetesimal, water planetesimal. So this gives you an idea of how the early solar system began to form. Again, through the process of gravity, or gravitational pull from one particle to another, these planetesimals began to grow, grow, grow until we had our early solar system. This is Mr. Aguirre for MySciences.com, signing off.